Hello together. So with the 132 release of Synap Core firmware, now it's also possible to use WebRTC on the Synap Core. Uh, let's configure the WebRTC. It's the same as you had already in the Synap system. So there's the section WebRTC. You can uh, configure up to 10 different rooms in the WebRTC menu by using the name and the direct link into the into the web uh, conferencing room. So I configured a Pexib room and a Hangout, for example. The audio, it's the same. Uh, using a USB microphone as an input, you can choose in the drop-down list here. So I'm using a Yamaha a microphone speaker combination which is on the desk so it is configured as a USB microphone and also as a USB speaker. The video input you can configure at the input settings so I chose the webcam uh, it's a camera type that's just a symbol which is shown in the source menu and I choose this Unite uh, 200 as my input device. You can see here, now this switch is uh, renamed. It is uh, use USB input for web conferencing. That means automatically always this camera, in this case I enabled the first one, will be used for video conferencing. Everything is configured. So on my Synap Core, I can now start the WebRTC. I can choose which room uh, of the configured ones I want to choose. And if I use, for example, the Hangouts room, I will then, with Hangouts, I have to log in. So it's my, that's my login here and the password. Okay, and you can see now somebody move the chair in front of my camera <laughs> i'm in this meeting room now and the control bar will give me the possibility to uh, mute the mic and change the volume and i can use the controls in the window to hang up to start the uh, start and stop the video camera and so on so this is the web rtc services like hangouts I also tested it with Starleaf and with Avaya and so on. So these services are not supporting any kind of screen sharing. So in this case, it will always be the video which will be transmitted to the other participants. It's another thing with the system Pexib. So when we jump into the Pexib room, you can see the control bar is different. So what we have, we have this additional uh, button down here for screen sharing. The services Pexip and uh, also the service, different other services like appear in are supporting screen sharing directly over the browser. So in this case, we also can use it on the Synapse system. There are different services in the market, so not every service is supporting it. At the moment, what we found out and tested in-house is Appearin and Pexip. So you can see now I'm logged into the video conference and as a picture in picture, you can see the USB camera. This is a big advantage because now I can send the second stream to the other participants by using the screen sharing function. So I activate the screen sharing and now can use our control bar to choose which window we want to transfer. So let's say, for example, I open up a whiteboard and a browser and now using our screen sharing button, you can see at the moment I'm sharing the whole screen, but now the new function with the screen sharing, I can choose which window I want to send to the other participants. So in this case, we're going to share our whiteboard. So what you can see now, the other participants are seeing my whiteboard. I can do some drawings here and also it is marked with a green border. So I always have the overview as a user, which window will be sent to the other participant. It's also different to how it was in the past that, for example, if I go to full screen with another window, still the chosen window will be transferred to the other participant. 
So I can jump in between these windows on the screen of the sign app and still you can see always this window will be transferred. This is a big advantage because your workflow on the sign up display or on the touch screen, for example, is not affected by the web conference. So you just choose what you want to share and then start working on your sign up. So you don't have to think about what is full screen and what is side by side. So this is the new feature of the WebRTC implementation. This is at the moment available for sign up core, but it will be available with the next release also for the sign up system.